Welcome back. We're going to talk about combustion and the three zones of a flame. We remember that combustion and combustible fuels can come in the three states. Combustible fuels can be solid, liquid, or gas. When we look at this candle burning, we can see that we have a solid fuel in the form of solid paraffin wax, liquid paraffin wax as it melts from the heat, and then is easily vaporized by that heat to combine with oxygen. So remember, for combustion, you need a fuel, you need oxygen, and you need heat. And this candle, we see the three zones of the flame. You have the outermost, the inner zone, and the innermost zone. What you can see is that the color change tells you. The yellow flame tells you it's an outer incomplete combustion, while a blue flame is more complete combustion. We can see this even further if we blow it out and we do a little magic, so to speak. You can see the flame trail, and if we get right in here, we can reignite it. That is because the paraffin wax vapors have been reignited, so that if we put another flame through those paraffin wax vapors, the flame will travel down and reignite the hot candle wick. Let's try it again so we can see. So we're going to blow without blowing the wax on my tablecloth. And then we can see the smoke. And if we get this candle flame right in, the flame will travel along that vapor trail back to reignite my candle. This is because we have incomplete combustion. Those carbon particles are combined with carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, but they're still in abundance of oxygen to reignite that candle through that vapor trail because that is your fuel. Not only that, the wick is still hot so that you can reignite it very simply. Let's do it one more time just for fun. This is an experiment done in a controlled setting and should not be repeated by children. You need permission from an adult and adult supervision to participate in any experiments. And once we said again in our initial video, do not play with fire or matches. This is for science.